welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome back I am in my bedroom today to give you guys a 10 basics that you need for 2019 um, it's gonna be 10 ish basics I might go a little off the handle but I'm sure you guys won't mind before we get started if you're new and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet Please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button down below. And if you want daily outfit inspirations, you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm just Naomi Boyer, and let's get started with the video. All right, so the first basic I wanna talk about may be quite obvious to a lot of you guys. It's right here, it is just a basic white tee. Now I'm sure we all have white t-shirts in our closets. For me particularly, what I look for in a good white t-shirt is the neckline. I like a really clean cut crew neck as close to the neckline as possible. Just because for me, I like more of a put together type of neater look versus something that is a little more slouchy. That way I feel like you can do more with a t-shirt like that. For example, you could pair this with wide leg trousers and then throw on a blazer over it. The t-shirt already just kind of looks prim and proper enough to pair with something like that that you maybe would wear to work versus something that's a little more on the slouchier side. And then also you could wear the white t-shirt alone with like a mini skirt or some nice jeans, add some jewelry, and you look like you have an effortless look going right there. So there are so many things that you could do with a white t-shirt. You just have to get creative with it. You can definitely dress it up by taking some items in your closet that you probably wouldn't think of pairing this white t-shirt with. And there's definitely ways you can dress it up by tucking it in, by adding some jewelry, adding some heels, and things like that. I also like a white t-shirt that's pretty slim, but that still has some room so that you can make it versatile, so that you can dress it up, and that you can dress it down as well. This one in particular is a bit more on the pricey side. This is a collaboration with Hanes and Shop Redone, but I'll definitely link some less expensive alternatives of other t-shirts that I like down in the description box below. All right, now the next basic that I feel like is necessary in your closet is a graphic tee Pretty much I'm wearing one right now. This one is by Anine Bang. Now I don't usually like t-shirts with sayings on it or anything like that, but for some reason I like a good graphic tee or like a band tee. This reminds me of a band tee, but I also do really love the brand Anine Bang. She makes really good basic pieces also. But I like t-shirts like this in case you feel like your outfit is a little too plain and it just needs a little something. Again, you have a graphic right here. I'm just wearing it with these high-waisted black ASOS jeans. We could also still pair this with leather pants, a mini skirt and a blazer. There's so many things you could do with a graphic tee like this. I also feel like it looks really nice with loungewear. Obviously this and a leather jacket for like an edgy look. So a graphic tee for me is something when you compare it to a plain white t-shirt and you feel like you wanna look or feel like being edgy, this is a thing that's really gonna help you do that. Now I know for some of you guys, a graphic tee like this may not be your style. So whatever tee you like that has some kind of print on it, I feel like would really help on those days where you feel like your outfit just needs a little bit of something if it is too plain. So for this look, I could literally just add some heels. I look a little bit dressed up, but still casual. Or I could add a blazer or a leather jacket. All right, next necessary basic is a V-neck bodysuit. This one I have is from Aritzia. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's ribbed. It has a nice off-white color. Now the reason why I like a good V-neck, specifically a V-neck bodysuit, is because you're gonna probably find, and I find a lot of times, that I need a layering piece to layer with my jacket. And sometimes things just look better showing a little bit more skin, and so that's why I choose a V-neck as opposed to something that's a little higher on the neck. Because if you are going to pair a jacket over this, there's so much being covered up already that you need that sort of contrast. A v-neck also helps elongate because it points downward and also a bodysuit because it's going to be easy for you women who don't like to tuck in. It's already going to be done for you. This one doesn't have a clasp at the crotch um, so this one is a little more annoying and a little more difficult but if you are going to get a bodysuit like this probably go for the one that has a clasp at the crotch so that when you go to the bathroom, you don't have to take all your clothes off. Also, I think super crucial is the color. Now, as you can tell, this is not a super bright white. This is more of like an off-white color. If you've been following me for a while, you know I talk a lot about off-whites because they're a little more subtle. 
it's not as bright and as harsh as a super bright white so it's gonna go with a lot more in your closet it's just gonna blend in with your outfit a lot more than a true white would again a bodysuit like this is super versatile you could wear it with pretty much anything from jeans to work wear, to lounge wear, it's good for all. I did really quickly also want to mention a v-neck long sleeve bodysuit. For those of you who are still experiencing cold weathers out there, this is going to have the same effect as the bodysuit I just showed you, except it has long sleeves, so it's going to be a little bit warmer. You could still wear this under your sweater, or you could wear this as a layering piece over your coats and things like that. But again, still the same effect, still elongating, but also it's still that contrasting piece to show a little bit of skin when you're already super covered up and you need that balance. And so that you guys can understand a little bit of where I'm coming from with that. So sometimes when you're getting dressed and you're going to wear a lot of things, maybe, you know, pants and a blazer, and then you go in and you put on this high neck shirt and you feel like something's missing. And then all of a sudden you just try something that's v-neck and it just feels better, it just looks better because that little bit of skin is peeking out and sometimes that could be all you need. That's why necklines are super important. If you have a basic of something, it's good to have different types of necklines because you never know how you may feel, how an outfit that you're wearing may look better with one type of neckline versus another. So earlier I showed you guys a plain white tee with a crew neck, now we're doing v-necks. And then next I'm going to show you guys a square neck. All right, now moving on to the square neck tank. Now, I feel like these have been really popular lately, especially in bodysuits, but I've been really loving this straight across neckline with the straps just because I feel like it's a little bit different. It also looks a little bit more elegant, and you can easily dress this up by pairing it with trousers. These are really nice, I find, for like the springtime and summertime when you go on those cruises or beach vacations because you can throw on some shorts with it, but maybe you're even more dressy shorts, your flowy high-waisted shorts with a nice waistband, and it just gives you like this effortless casual a little bit dressed up but not really still casual vibe this one is a little bit more on the pricey side because it is real silk I'll try to find alternatives for something like this and add them in the description box below as well but again there also is something to say for really good pieces really good basics and sometimes you are gonna have to spend the money you can definitely find really good ones from places like H&M um, but then you move up a level and you just kind of sometimes know notice that it might be a little bit worth it for you to spend a little more money on a good basic that's going to last you a lot longer just because of the way things are made, the structure, the material, but there are definitely ways around it. But also sometimes I just find that when you do spend more money on something, you're more prone to take care of the item. I'm not saying to spend more money on your basics. If you can, you may want to try it out. Go shopping. You may find that there are more varieties in better looking qualities out there. But again, like I said, there are really great options and I will link all of those below. Our next basic is a knit ribbed top. Now, I feel like this is good for those of you guys who just cannot do the bodysuit. I know there are days when I just am super annoyed. I just don't want to wear a bodysuit. I'm just not in the mood for it. Um, so something like this, which is still form-fitting, it's just exactly the same thing as the bodysuit I showed you earlier, except it's just missing that bottom part. Again, it's a good layering piece, but it's also really cute, um, worn the same way as the square neck top that I showed you. I found a lot of times last year I was pairing this with a lot of my dress dressier shorts for summertime and because it is a knit type of rib top it does look a little bit more dressed up without even having to try so hard and I have a couple different colors here as you can see I had the white one and then I have this more oatmeal color I do love my neutrals but I do again find that these go with a lot of things in my closet our next basic is a silky satin tank I know you guys are probably thinking like, oh my goodness, how many different tanks is she gonna show us? Now the reason why these are super crucial is because of, like I said earlier, one, the neckline, two, the textures and materials. So I showed you guys a t-shirt, then I showed you a bodysuit, and then now we're going on to tanks and in different necklines. I showed you guys a rib tank with a v-neck, I showed you guys a square neck, and now we're doing a satin one. 
because sometimes, like I said again, the different textures help. In the past two years, in a lot of my videos, I was showing you guys a tank from Zara that I used over and over and over and over again. Well, that one got stained, so I finally had to retire it. But now I've really been liking these satin tops lately. They're a little more shiny than the one I used to have, but I'm kind of liking that now. The little sheen and shine makes such a big difference, and another reason why a lot of these different types of tanks are crucial is because a lot of times you'll be reaching in your closet, getting ready, and you'll realize, I don't have a v-neck tank, and this would look great with a v-neck tank, or I don't have a bodysuit like that, and I feel like at this moment, I feel like a bodysuit is super necessary for a specific outfit so that's why I just feel like you need to cover all your bases when it comes to your basics because your life will just be so much easier when you have all the different necklines in the different shades of white and things like that and also because you guys ask me a lot of times the most asked questions that I get is about my basic tops that I wear and tanks that I wear. Where'd you get that tank? Where'd you get that t-shirt? Where'd you get that top? 99% of the time, it's just a basic. So honestly, I know I showed you guys a lot so far, but this tank is probably gonna be your most used tank as far as basics go that you'll have in your closet. Um, the one that I mentioned earlier that I had to retire from Zara, it was my favorite tank. It was an off-white color as well, and it just went with everything. I always found myself reaching for it, which is why I kept it for so long. I take it to the dry cleaners to make sure that it stays in tip-top condition, and then one day I just spilled something on myself and the stain just couldn't come out. So then I was on the search for another one similar to it, and I just can't find the exact same kind, and so this was the best next thing. This one is from Aritzia, and they always have tanks like this in stock, so I'll link some of those for you. Alright, so my next favorite type of basic for 2019, um, ones that I feel like I'm reaching for a lot lately are sweatshirts. Now I know what you're thinking, they probably are super super casual, um, but they're actually so chic and I have been finding so many different chic ways to wear sweatshirts with. You could throw on like leather pants with it, add some necklaces over it, and it's just like, wow, what'd you do with that sweatshirt? You could add a leather mini skirt to it for dinner. There are so many cool ways that you could wear this. Um, if you watched my Style 101 video, you saw how I took a plain sweater like this and made it super feminine and girly by pairing this over a romper, and then I also paired this with like a pink tweed skirt. And you'd never think it was just like a plain Hanes sweater. So I love this pink color. I also have this white one. This one's a little slimmer and so it's going to be a little more form-fitting than this one. Basically these are loungewear items that you can definitely rework. All you have to do is pull for the more fancier things in your closet and then just try pairing it with these things. You never know what kind of outfit you come up with. Alright, next up I want to talk about these bustier slash corset type tops. Now I feel like over the past couple of years we're seeing a lot of corset silhouettes, whether it's in dresses, in t-shirts, them being built in, people wearing belts that look like corsets. Um, I've had these corset tops for a couple years now. These are from Aritzia. But the reason why I wanted to add it into this basics video is because I have reached for this on nights when I feel like I don't have anything to wear or I don't want to think, but I still want to look like I'm ready for the night out. They're obviously a little bit more risque, so this may not be everyone's style, but you know, you could do a similar type of style in other ways, like I mentioned, adding a corset belt to maybe a t-shirt dress or a sweater dress or, you know, something along those lines. And so on those nights when you're maybe having like a girl's night, something like this might just be the thing where you just throw it on with jeans. Maybe if you're going out, this is also something you could wear under a blazer if you're not one to just, you know, wear it alone and show some skin. So yeah, so many ways you could wear this. You could wear it tucked in to trousers. You could just wear it with jeans and things like that. And so, so since I feel like I wear this with so much, specifically for the nighttime, I just wanted to show you guys how a top like this can just be your it and go to for a nighttime look when you don't want to think about it. it could be date night or whatnot. 
Alright, next I wanted to talk about a nice off the shoulder top that is necessary because there are going to be a lot of things that you can wear this with. Number one, you can definitely mix things up with your work wear. You can turn your work skirts and trousers to something that you wear for like leisure time. Let's say you want to go wine tasting with your girlfriends on a Saturday. So you want to be kind of dressy but not so crazy throw on an off the shoulder top like this. Just grab like a pencil skirt or a wide leg trouser, tuck this into those and you're good to go. This is something that you can use to special occasions like baby showers, bridal showers. All you have to do is just grab a maxi skirt or a midi skirt or something like that and boom, your outfit is done. This is something you can definitely use to brunch with jeans and some jewelry. It's such a versatile, like feminine, girly top that could go with so much in your closet. You can definitely pair it tucked into shorts for a beach vacation with a hat. There's just so many different things that you could do with a off the shoulder top like this. All right, last but not least, probably one of my favorite things that I reach for in my closet is a linen button down. Sorry, don't mind all the wrinkles. Linen wrinkles super easily, but sometimes I feel like with linen, you can get away with that a little bit more than with other things. So I love linen because compared to your traditional button down, it's a little more casual mainly because it is linen, but it also just gives off this like cool effortless vibe. You can pair this with denim shorts and you're already looking like you're on a vacation, just add a hat to it. I've paired this with so many dressy things in my closet as well. I've paired this with a super fancy metallic skirt. This with skinny jeans it looks just so cool and effortless. And you can also still find that you can wear this to work. So I've already named off so many different ways you could wear a linen button down. It could also be like a nice beach cover up over your swimsuit. But again, I just love like a casual, cool, effortless vibe. And so I feel like this is what everyone needs in their closet. If you own something like this, you already know what I'm talking about. And again, this one is in a more off-white color. And I just kind of like to let it go a little bit deeper with the v-necks, maybe um, unravel some buttons, and then just wear some gold necklaces hanging down. And I just feel like that just looks so pretty. Alright you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you want to see other basic videos like this. Maybe I could do a basic bottoms, basic outerwear. Your choice. Just let me know. And again, if you made it to the end and you're new here, please don't forget before you leave, subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm just Naomi Boyer. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.